Aiden, could you talk about second half adjustments? What were some things that you guys talked about wanting to adjust to in the second half and maybe what happened at, when the team kind of started to lose momentum a little bit? Yeah, I think um, definitely didn't play well enough in the second half. I think, you know, we tried to continue with our run game and um, had success with our run game. And then I think that we just had a couple three and outs that, you know, it's hard to it's hard to do that against this team to not, you know, put drives together. We kept our defense on the field for too long. And so um, we got to do a better job sustaining and, uh, yeah, like you said, do a better job in the second half executing. In, uh... <clears throat> Early in the game, Devontae started out five catches on five targets, 73 yards, and then kind of, uh, I don't think he had another catch the rest of the game. Were they doing something different to take him out of the game, or what was going on there? You know, I think with Devontae, you try to look for opportunities as much as you can. I, I know I missed him on that uh, third and eight at the end of the game, um, and missed him on a couple more. So, you know, it's it's my responsibility to get him the ball, especially when he's in one-on-one -on -one situations, and, um, you know, we're, we're trying to continue to call plays for him to get him open, and so um, we got to do a better job um, myself of just getting the ball to him in space and letting him be a good athlete. Aiden, you guys couldn't have asked for a better start, uh, but collectively, what's the message here in terms of sustaining that momentum uh, and building off it and basically putting your foot on somebody's throat and making sure you don't give it back? Yeah, that's, it's, it's that. It's you got to sustain. You got to, you know, continue your intensity, and especially against a really good team that's um, you know, won a lot of games and won a lot of games where they had to come from behind. And so um, it's it's our responsibility to um, continue to, you know, every every drive lock in, every play lock in, try to do our job. And, um, you know, you, you can't worry about what's on the other side of the ball, same as the defense can't uh, worry about what we're doing. We have to worry about, you know, our individual jobs and um, try to do as best we can to help the team. And you talk about the second half momentum with this game. Coming into this game, you guys totaled at least 50 points in the first, second, and fourth quarters across the board. You scored a collective 19 points in the third quarter. What is it about coming out of the locker room that maybe you're seeing as the quarterback leader of this team that's not taking place? Yeah, I think, you know, it's just con converting on third downs. I think, um, you know, we have to, like I said, when they have long drives, we have to do a good job of keeping our defense off the field and sustaining drives and getting ahead of the sticks and staying ahead of the sticks. And so it's, it's a combination of a lot of different things. You have to be able to run the ball, pass the ball, and and execute. And so I think, um, like like we continue to talk about, there's a, um, a level of sustaining that we have to get better at and that we have to, you know, uh, implement during practice and um, try to do a good job of, you know, continuing to focus. Yeah. I was also just going to say, this is your first start where you did not have a turnover the single game, which I guess you can see it was a silver lining. How much of an emphasis was keeping onto the ball to you going into this game, and how did your offensive line help you in accomplishing that goal? Yeah, I thought our offensive line did an awesome job. You know, they throw a lot of different things at you, and they continue that throughout the game. They threw, you know, new looks, looks we've seen, looks we haven't. And so um, I think, you know, like I said, kudos to our offensive line for just playing really hard and, and keeping me upright, and um, for our guys around me playing really well. On that last uh, fourth and one play, was there a breakdown in terms of the play call or the old line, or what happened when, like, when, when Jacobs got, got stuffed? Uh, we were a little off in our formation, and so, yeah, I know I, I, um, it, there's craziness going around. you got to be able to um, corral the guys and, and make sure we execute, so I, I can do a better job of uh, making sure we're on the same page and uh, making sure we have a good play called. Good. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.